Hi everyone, it's Shell here from Designs by Shell. Hope you're doing well today. It's a beautiful sunny day here. And so I'm enjoying uh, the sunshine. I went for a little walk this morning. And uh, now I'm gonna share this uh, feather cards that I've, I've been making. So I've used um, this feather die cut uh, here. I've got this metal die. Um, it's about three inches long. It's kind of a, a cool feather. And um, I've used that on cards, and um, I started with some thank you cards. So I'll show you what I've got here. So for this one, I've just layered up a nice background here. It kind of had actually a sort of a fern. It almost looks like a feather on the background, but look, I think it's a fern uh, design on there. It's just kind of a soft blue. And then I've got um, layers of scallop dies on there, about three layers. I also used uh, this uh, thanks die um die cut I should say I cut that out and in a foil paper on there and same with the feather I, I used some foil paper to um, cut that out this one's kind of an iridescent color and I think it turned out really cute so I was just kind of playing around and this is the the first one I came up with and um, I'll show you the foil papers that I that I picked up the other day at Michael's um, it's just this long uh, paper pad here, it's just uh, narrow, uh, two inches by 12 inches, and it's got lots of different uh, colors in here of the foil papers. So that's a little look at that, oops, like that. So that's what I've been using. And um, so that turned out really nice. And then here's the second one I've done. Uh, a little bit different, this one I did two feathers on there, and I went in a kind of a pretty royal blue and then uh, a big kind of leaf on there um, in the same iridescent uh, foil as the feather and the thanks in that same color as well. And I think that turned out nice too. Um, here is, uh, let's see, to show you separately, this is what uh, the feather looks like in that uh, iridescent color. And then these were some of the uh, scallop shapes that I um, die cut out as well in the foil papers and they're really nice to use. They make great little uh, backgrounds and um, you could add a, you know, a white um, layer on top, put your message on there and layer them up, I'll give you some ideas for that. And then a third one I've done here is this pretty one. I've left this kind of clean and simple, but I liked uh, how it turned out here. So I've got one scallop um, shape on there and on that I've layered the, a silver feather and with some little silver blossoms, I think I did two little die cuts of that, layered that on there. I added a little tag um, in the foil as well and then just put a little um, piece of uh, cardstock on top of there and a little pattern stamped on there, it says a little note. And then some little uh, crochet cotton for the string on there and then the little uh, gemstones on there. So I hope you can see that well. And I think that turned out really nice. It makes a really nice little note card. If you, if you wanna send someone a, a quick note, that's um, a cute idea there. And um, yeah, we're gonna, I've got another one that's partially put together here. So um, if you'd like to see, um, see it finished up, just stay tuned and keep watching. Okay, so I think I'm good to go here. So we've got this uh, background uh, card stock on the A2 card base here. And uh, that's my rectangle die with the, the perforated edges on there. And I've got one scallop, um, a large scallop uh, cut out on here. And I put two of the blossoms on there in the purple foil. And so I think we're gonna put this on the center here. Now I've got some of the t tape on the back. I'll just take, take that off and then I'll use my crafter's tape to add a little more adhesive on here to make sure it sticks on there well. And so we're gonna put that, kind of line it up in the center here. I'm just kind of following what I've done on this first one here. Looks good, like so. And let's see here. So now we're gonna put uh, adhesive on the back of the silver feather, foil feather here. 
use this. This, make sure we get enough on there. And then we're just gonna kinda see where we want this here. That's probably good. So that's like that. And then I've got my little um, stamped hello on there on my uh, little foil tag. I've already put the uh, crochet cotton on there as well. And then we're just going to kind of decide where we want to have that sit. Put some adhesive on the back. Whoops. Okay, so sorry, my finger got caught on there and I undid the bow, so I had to retie that. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to kind of place this on here. There. Now, isn't that pretty? So I hope that gives you some ideas. You could also do, um, you know, another idea if you have, I like to use little birds and they kind of go with the feather theme. So that would have been cute on there as well. Um, just a little tag like this. You could do a little smaller one so it fits on there a little different or even place it differently on the bottom or, you know, on here as well. Just gives you some different ideas. But um, I hope you like that and um, that you get some inspiration and create some cards for yourself. Have a great week. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.